Were there flying dinosaurs? No. There were flying reptiles in the age of the dinosaurs, but they were not really dinosaurs. Not all dinosaurs were big. Microraptor, for example, was very small. It could not fly, but it could make big jumps by launching itself from a tree. Pterodactylus was a flying reptile, not a dinosaur. It was carnivorous and could even catch fish. <coughs> Tupendactylus was not a dinosaur, but it lived at the same time as them. It could fly and had a large crest on its head. Elasmosaurus was not a dinosaur, because dinosaurs did not live in the sea. But it was a large creature that lived at the same time as the dinosaurs. It had a very long neck. Were there aquatic dinosaurs? No, all dinosaurs were land animals. There were also animals that lived in water in the age of the dinosaurs, but they were not dinosaurs. Anchiornis was a small dinosaur with wings. It looked a lot like the birds of today. Thanks to this dinosaur, paleontologists have been able to show that birds evolved from dinosaurs. Clean the fog so the Microraptor can jump from the tree. Put in place the name of each animal. Draw the path that the pterodactylus should follow to catch the fish. Yeah! <laughs> 
Paleontologists are men and women who study what dinosaurs were like and how they lived. Since dinosaurs no longer exist, they have to study bones or fossils that they find buried. Fossils are the remains of animals and plants that lived many years ago. Thanks to them, paleontologists can study what dinosaurs were like and how they lived. In some museums, you can see dinosaur skeletons, eggs and footprints, and even representations of what real dinosaurs looked like. Ask your parents or teachers if there's a museum nearby to visit. Tyrannosaurus rex is one of the most famous dinosaurs. It was very big. It ate meat and had enormous teeth. A tooth measuring more than 30 centimeters long has been found. Scary. In some... Dinosaurs lived many millions of years ago. They were extinct long before the first people arrived, so people and dinosaurs never lived together. Unearth fossils and become a real paleontologist. Clean impurities from the bones and guess to which dinosaur it belongs.
put the sequence in order. What tools does a good paleontologist need? Hmm.